Hey there, I'm Christian from Racker, and today let's talk about a powerful tool called WordOps and how you can use it to install and manage WordPress easily and much faster on your Ubuntu server. By the way, this tutorial will assume that you already have a VPS running with Ubuntu OS along with a registered domain name from any domain registrar out there. I will link in the description down below about our video tutorial on how you can order a VPS with RackNerd and show you later on how you can manage your domain's DNS settings so that you can use it for your WordPress site. So if you're passionate about hosting websites and you want to simplify the process, keep watching. Before we dive into the tutorial, let me quickly explain what WordOps is and why it's an excellent choice for hosting websites. WordOps is a simple yet powerful command line tool designed specifically for optimizing WordPress performance and security. It streamlines the process of setting up a WordPress site, makes it faster, more secure, and much more efficient than the traditional web stack legacy builds of LAMP, LAMP, and LOMP. Now you may be wondering why should I use WordPress instead of another stack or build out there? There are tons of solutions. Well, if you're into WordPress, let me tell you the benefits of using WordOps as your web stack build. Firstly, it is incredibly fast. WordOps optimizes the WordPress installation, ensuring lightning fast page load times, which is crucial for user experience and search engine rankings. Secondly, WordOps enhances security. It implements various security measures to protect your website from threats such as brute force attacks and malicious bots. With WordOps, you can have peace of mind knowing that your WordPress site is well guarded. But wait, there is more. WordOps also simplifies management. It provides user-friendly interfaces and powerful command line tools that make it easy to manage multiple WordPress installations efficiently. Plus, it offers features like automatic updates, SSL certificate management, and easy domain management, saving you a ton of time and effort. So now that you know the benefits of WordOps, let's go ahead and jump into our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install WordPress with WordOps on Ubuntu. Remember, you can find all the commands and resources I will mention in this video in the description down below. So let me go ahead and share my screen here and we will get started with the tutorial. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by navigating to the DNS management service on your domain registrar website or client area and let's point an A record with our root domain to our server's IPv4 address. We will also create an alias or www using CNAME record to our root domain name where possible. If your registrar does not support this method, it's just probably use an A record the same way we did in our root domain, as you can see here. Now let's go ahead and log into our Ubuntu server using Bitvice SSH client, which I will also be linking in the description down below, completely free. But if you don't want to use it, feel free to use your own SSH client like Putty or whatever else works for you. Once we're in, open the terminal and let's update the Ubuntu server's packages by running the following one line of commands. It may take a while to complete the update if this is your first time launching your server, so just be patient. The update command, by the way, will update the repository package list only. We will have to use the upgrade command to actually update our system's packages when we're using the Debian-based distribution like Ubuntu. It's different with an RHEL-based distro like Alma Linux, as you only need to use the update command for updating both the repository package list along with the actual package manager of your system or server. Now let's go ahead and install WordOps using their official one-step automated install script. This is an installer script which installs the required dependencies before setting up WordOps. It can be installed with the following command. This script will prompt an interactive wizard that will allow us to input our details for our WordPress account. WordOps requires a username and an email address to configure Git, which is used to save server configurations. Your information will only be stored locally, so don't worry about privacy much here. Now, please follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation process. You can also follow along with me as I go over my own demo installation so that you can avoid getting stuck.
Pops is installed, we need to set it up with its recommended configuration along with its stack by running the following commands to do just that. Now that I have WordOps set up, make sure to copy the credentials provided for future reference. Uh, and one more thing to do before I forget, we also may need to configure WordOps to work with our server's firewall. So first, we need to install UFW to manage our WordOps stack firewall and allow traffic to its standard port, which is 22222. To do this, run the following command. It should only take maybe a second or so, So from here, we are now getting ready to create a new site with WordOps using our own domain name. Uh, use the following command to do exactly that. Just make sure you replace my demo domain, which is ragnartv.com with your own and you'll be fine. So this command will install WordPress within our preferred domain along with Nginx fast CGI cache. It will also secure our website with an SSL certificate by Let's Encrypt along with assigning our preferred PHP version, which in our case is PHP 8.0. Once the WordPress installation has been complete, once again, copy the credentials provided by the script for future reference. And now let's go ahead and check out our site. If everything works as expected, we're gonna be good. And as you can see here, we have a working WordPress site served through HTTPS traffic, which means that our SSL has successfully been installed for our domain name. And there you have it, in just a few steps, we've successfully installed WordPress with WordOps on our Ubuntu server. Now go ahead and start building your WordPress website or blog accordingly. Also, I've provided more details below in the description for further tips in regards to updating and maintaining your WordOps stack. So make sure that you check those out. Furthermore, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like the video and subscribe to Rackner TV for more helpful content like this. And feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments down below. Until next time, happy hosting.